So yeah, I mean, I guess there's a few, few things you raised. I guess it was around the the, um, the the needing to take care of them, and then the money side of it. Is that kind of the two main? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Capitalism, nice, isn't it? Nice, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the money side of it. I mean, the thing is, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? Because things have to be produced. People want to eat, um, and therefore you know, they have to they have to make a way of producing things cheaply. Yeah. So the only way they can produce things cheaply is to manufacture it in high, you know, in high It's a bit like, I think about it, it's that whole thing of, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, if people didn't read the Daily Mirror, no one would print it. Yeah. So whether you agree with it or not, the fact of the matter is that enough people read it to make it a worthwhile business venture. Well, it's the right. same with the, you know, all the time people buy smart price eggs or this or that you're always going to get them produced yeah. all the time yeah. people buy yeah, them well, because it is down to money because people <coughs> can only afford what they can afford and they want quality they want quantity not always quality and people just you know will go for the cheapest option because money always has talk at the end yeah. of the day I do like what, what they're doing in some areas though so in um, Whitehawk and Bevendine I think is another place where they have the um, they got like sustainable allotments and they get the kids working on it and they have uh -huh. like community um, chickens and community that when you start doing it like that that builds the kids awareness far more than them watching a video you know they're yeah. actually getting out there and doing stuff and that's almost what needs to happen is subsidize so is this focus mostly on the cruelty of the uh, like the, the way they or unnecessary breeding yeah this is um, around just the needless killing I mean I guess I'd like to go back because you mentioned was it what was the relation to the individual who um, the doctor said that they needed to yeah, yes, stop being uh, vegan. She was very sickly. She basically, uh, that's my sister-in-law, so she um, she was living off almonds, almond butter, tofu, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and pulses. Pulses. Almost, yeah, but she the... has been very sick and she went to, they went to the States, in fact, on holiday in um, California and she ended up having to see somebody because she went so just, she, she was really ill and he basically said, you literally need to change your diet and I want you on steak. <laughs> yeah, so she has to start eating eat steak. She has to eat meat. That, that's and interesting, that, yeah. But she has, but interestingly, <laughs> since she's been eating meat, she has improved dramatically. So have her children. Because she had the children on the same diets. On all of her, you know, she had the same sort of outlook of going like me, you know. I didn't, she, she hates it now. She said, I don't want to eat it. I don't like it. Yeah. But it's all, she said, I look at it as medicine. Because so, it's the only way it can get me through eating it. So I'd be really curious the, the studies that would say, <laughs> we'll move away from the, the barky dogs. I'd be really curious the studies that um, that the doctor's coming from on that. My understanding is, and I have a few uh, friends that are doctors, that there's only between zero to three hours of nutritional training that doctors get through their entire medical training. So I think a lot of the nutritional information that we get from doctors isn't necessarily the best source, in my opinion. I don't disagree with that. I suppose the because, thing for us is we've seen a massive change in her. You can only speak... Yeah. the point of her skin colour. Yeah, I mean, you can only speak from what you know, yeah? So she yeah. really know what we see, don't we? Yeah, yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yeah. So, I mean, we're all vegan here. We're not, you know, wasting away. I'm the healthiest I've ever been. You know, I lost, I, I lost 25 kg um, when I first did it, and... You know, it's. I think. I think that some of the things you mentioned. Um, I think there's. I, I would say. You know, obviously you got the animal side, and then. And I would say there's two other categories. You've got the processed foods and the whole foods. Yeah. Several things you listed. I'd say almond milk, the the, the butters. Yeah, yeah. Those are heavily processed. Mm. So I'd be curious what else was happening in her situation. I'm not a nutritionist, so it's not really for me yeah, to, yeah. to suggest anything no, I mean, otherwise. I'd be curious no, I mean, which I nutrients think, she was lacking. I guess. I yeah. think she was probably one of those that thinks that you know that almond butter people say. Oh, yes, well, it's, you know, it's expensive, it's obviously good for you, or this right. is quite exclusive. Or, so I don't right. know. I don't think she ate no, no, a I lot. Think she was no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't but she, No, no, not She's necessarily to her, but I'm saying in general people can be like that. But she um, yeah, she, was, she was very much... We didn't see her really eat. Um, she, she didn't eat a lot, so she probably was lacking stuff. Whether she's yeah. improved her diet as a result of having the meat because maybe she's having more vegetables or more other things with it, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we don't see them a lot. Yeah. I think she's a little bit embarrassed about it. <laughs> she's a bit... Oh, well, that's, a, that's a tough transition to go full cycle like that. Yeah. Totally yeah. Is because she said she's never been 
So I asked her, I said, have you ever liked something to me? She said, no, I've never liked the flavour of it. I don't like it. I don't like the process of it. I don't know any part of it. She said, I now realise I have to eat it. Because I have been better yeah. since I've been eating it. So, 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 you know, yeah. how do you argue with that? You can't really argue with that. Um, I, yeah, I mean, my, my perspective is that I haven't come across a nutrient that you can't get from a, um, e- from veganism. Right. Um, but see, that's where I don't know because I'm not, because, see, I eat meat, as I say. Yeah. I can't, I can't be safe with it. Yeah. I, I, I have spoken to people like my sister and all that who have been uh, vegan and all the rest of it. And then when you see things like that, you do start to wonder and think, well, maybe... You know, maybe we are as, as well, uh, human beings, well, human we being, being, basically. We, you know, we, ch- we can choose to, yeah. Yeah, we we have a ch- we, yeah, we we can eat meat, and mm-hmm. and we are. I mean, what we're going to evolve out of eating meat? Because if we do evolve out of eating meat and we just eat uh, plants, does that mean that uh, that that will change our physical? Thing because at the moment we've got teeth that are chewing and tearing like like a dog. So we can tear meat, and we have eaten meat since when, the beginning of time, haven't we? So it's kind of like, I wonder yeah. why Why would you go, well, we've got to stop eating meat, and we've got to go over onto just vegetables. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't agree with the cruelty, I agree with you on the cruelty front, yeah? Definitely agree with that, yeah. because yeah. animals are, you know, they're their own thing in yeah. their own right. Um, so we don't have the right to be cruel to them. Some of the things that we see, I mean, they are, you know, it's horrendous what I've seen on YouTube. And stuff. Did you guys want to watch any of the footage? Or I, to be honest, to be honest, I'm I've probably with this one getting a bit. Yeah. And also, I've, enough, I've, seen yeah. on, I've seen enough stuff on YouTube because it's well, wide available. Isn't it? It's great you've looked one into thing, it. I'll tell you what, one of the things yeah. that they need to do is to change. So let, if you take, for example, organic, like eggs supposedly from organic or free range chickens. And then you, you actually, I mean, we all thought, oh yeah, that's brilliant, they're getting, they've got lovely fields, they've got this. But there's so, the, the, the minimum that you have to do to achieve that status, I think that's one of the problems, that people will buy eggs thinking, I'm being a good person, and then when you actually look below the scenes, it's like, oh. Honestly, you should be here with us talking to people, that's a great point. That's a re- I think a lot of people, I know I felt that way for 12 years. Yeah. I was buying the free range eggs and, and you know, and dairy well, thinking it wasn't. What is it? Organic chicken, they only have to have had, it's only a certain percentage of their diet has to be organic for them yeah. to get that category. Yeah. And it's not, oh, it's very clever. I don't it's very clever how they get around things. And we all know that. But again, it's that thing, isn't it? What do you do? Do you know what I mean? I mean, in a, ideally, it would be a perfect, balanced world. But trying to get that is that's not an easy thing well, to take. Well, what you need Back. is government subsidies for yeah, people. Again, people. But they're not going to do it. The thing is, supply and demand and greed is going to always win over everything. And getting people to not be greedy, because we're, we're a mass-produced society, we, we buy and yeah. you don't have everything. To be. No, that's we don't. A great point. There is yeah. a choice. We do have a choice. We'll, I don't think we're ready for that choice yet. Back to what back to what you're saying about eating animals. Do you think? So you're talking about you're like being designed to eat, to eat meat. Um, you, when you see a piece of roadkill, would you salivate? Would I salivate? <laughs> no, I wouldn't salivate because it's been squished on a road, so it's a different. Let's thing. say it was just bounced off the cards and perfectly intact. Well, I don't know. I put take over these two because I feed these two raw as well. So I can't. I can't really. Say about that because I do yeah. feed them on raw meat. So if I, I could take roadkill home for them and feed them. Yeah, but you, they you, are supposed to eat raw meat. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, the one of the longest living dogs is vegan, so that's you know it could scramble. Um, yeah, I mean, over over um, kibble, for example. Yeah. I, I, well, kibble, I'm not going to sit here and have a kibble. Yeah, that's not, that's that's not idea. Thing. See, that's another thing. Yeah. That's another topic. Yeah. The industry of the dog food world. See, right. I mean, that's another freaking massive industry where they, they've made an absolute killing and they've, so, they've sold it to us. Right. The Americans have sold ours down the river with that one. Totally. We all that's where it's all come it. from. Do you, do, I mean, do you guys think that we could thrive without eating animals? Do you think it's possible? Do you think we could survive without eating animals? But, yeah. We probably could. Whether or not it would be that healthy for us, I don't know. I think yeah. the, the proof would be in the pudding. Because it's very easy to go from this side of it, because we've been doing it for years. Yeah. If you turn it around and head and put everybody eating just vegetables and, like you say, the food, the vegan food and stuff, uh-huh. it'd be interesting to see how we would all fare. 
yeah. whether we, I'm not just I'm not saying we wouldn't fare. I'm not saying we wouldn't do very well on it. Yeah. But it'd be just if we didn't, wouldn't it? Well, I think it's it's something that we can all try ourselves. I know for me, within the first month, I noticed massive changes, my energy levels and, and weight loss and stuff. So I like I mean I think everybody's individual diet can, is, yeah. has a lot of variables in it. You know so what I, usage is is basically you know that Michael Jackson song, The Man in the Mirror. That's what you're relying on is everybody starting with themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that way, you unless people want to make a change, yeah. it's like, and that's um, why it's tough, because you've got so many of us. It's <laughs> oh, like, I'm just here to talk about it, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's, yeah. It's like uh, milk, because I grew up as a kid, never really eaten a lot, and I liked milk, uh -huh. like full fat milk, drunk it all my life. And then someone said to me, really? No, you had a kidney stone. Yeah, I made it, yeah, later on, that was much later, right? it's oh, right. in the last five years or something. But um, it's not that. But the thing is, um, I've always found with milk, well, I love it, and I would drink that over anything. Yeah, I drink yeah. that quite a bit. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Yeah. But someone said to me, oh, you should really drink lactose free milk because your body's not designed to break down the dairy in the milk. Yeah, and it, it clogs you up, it makes you bloated. And I said, yeah, it's funny that you should say that. I do feel a bit bloated. Yeah. You drink milk. I said, yeah. yeah, I love it. I can do gallons of it, but then I'm like, really like having loads of beer. Yeah. I said, yeah, because your body can't break down the. So if you. If you buy the lactose free milk, then you don't, your body doesn't need to break that, that down. Yeah. The problem, like you said, all of the uh, cow alternatives are so heavily processed and sugary, and like all the almond milk and everything else, they've, they've got so much sugar in them. Yeah. This, what is the alternative? Have you guys heard about the addictive qualities of milk? No, but I'd say you've probably got them. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, because I'm a. I, I used to joke I was a cheeseaholic, but now looking back, I think I actually was. There's a compound in milk called casomorphines that's literally a derivative from morphine, and it makes sense because nature designed it so a calf doesn't wander into the woods away from their mom. Right. The problem is it has a similar effect on us to keep to keep us coming back, right. and it's about 10% the strength, so it's it's quite a strong, right. and it gets those dopamine receptors firing just like anything else. So it's, I mean, it's yeah, it's honestly, I think a lot of food's very addictive. And like you're saying, I think that feeds into that greed you were talking about. Well, that's where you get like, you get that. I think that's also like that's true because that's where McDonald's and all that arrived from because of the, the, the way they produce their food and the, uh, the drinks like the Pepsi and stuff like that, which is definitely made to make you yeah. want more, isn't it? They produce that to constantly make you going back for more and more of it. And it's yeah. just sugar, isn't it? It's just a pile of sugar. That's all right. But we drink it because we we just do. We just do. We're not. I don't think that we can be as human beings that. Um, what's the word? Regimen. Straight, that good. Yeah. Because it does require a lot. As well. Doesn't it? It takes a lot of discipline. Uh, yeah. So it's just like any, any form of discipline in life, like karate, right. like, a, like anything that takes discipline as a human being, it's conditions. Right. It takes a lot. And, we, and I think as human beings, we're inherently lazy. Yeah. I know for me, I'm the same. I'm lazy as you can get in the kitchen. Oftentimes, just open a can of beans, chuck in some corn, some raisins, that's a meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, I know for me, the, the ethical side of it, specifically what happens to the um, male offspring in the dairy and egg industry, I don't know if that's something you've looked oh, yeah, into. Yeah, no, I mean, really. there's just no yeah, use, so no, just no, first no, day. Mush, mush them up, I know. They yeah. Just put the little chicks put for a mince up. Just, yeah. I've seen it, I know, it's horrible, it's horrific. It is horrific. Yeah, well, I so think it, it's as I said to you, I think it's kind of that thing with a lot of stuff like this. It's unless you specifically look at it like this, or your mate, your mate or whatever, you kind of it's there, yeah. then you don't think about it. Yeah, well, you know what it is, we're all basically a little bit lazy. That's what I said. Yeah. That's what I said we're lazy. I said we don't, we don't as think a, about as a, it. As a race, not all of us, that's yeah. generalising yeah. too much, but people are busy, we're working, life is faster, and yeah. it's almost what you don't see. Plus, as Drew said earlier, I mean, this is just one tiny particle of human beings, basically being human beings. There Everybody are, has like, there's, there's so many parts of the planet where well, there's so much going do. on, and there's so many atrocities in this world. Well, Everybody they literally does are a little bit. Do you know what I mean? They, they, you look at yeah. it and think, how can we stop all of that? That's a great point, and that's why I focus on this, because this is something we can all choose to help three times a day. You know we can't stop wars on the other side of the world, so you know that's what's the... interesting, though? Three people have walked past and called bloody animal rights activists. 
I've heard him. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, people are very opinionated. People will get very anxious about it. I think it's a good topic to discuss, and there are fraud and against on everything. Yeah. You know? I see it from both sides. I see it on your side, I see it on my side, and you, we can helpfully talk about it without being. You know, Exactly. Exactly. I've only been vegan a few years. I'm not here to judge. Yeah. No, no. Oh, it sounds like you guys are having some really good. Like you, you thought a lot about this. I mean, is it something you'd consider trying down the line? You think, like for like a few know. weeks and see how you feel, or it might it... be something. I mean, I think at the minute for me is it'd be sticking to it. The problem for me is I'm, I'm happy with I'm, veggie I'm a, anything. Yeah. I mean, but... you're really good, aren't you? It's me more than anything because I'm pretty much. You're pie I'm, mash, meat and cheese veg. I'm, 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 I'm yeah. sort of normal. I like my stodge. Right? I do yeah. like it. I've grown up with it. And I get real principle and I understand yeah. what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? But I kind of... I don't know. I don't, would I change my... I don't know. I get paid with bloody boards so quick. So, yeah, we've certainly got food for thought. Yeah. Think about yeah, it that the, way. Excuse the pun. <laughs> <laughs> I like... I'm a, I, I'm a pun guy. So, um, I mean, there's a program called Challenge 22 where for three weeks you basically get put in a, a Facebook group with other people who are vegan curious. And there's a team of mentors assigned to answer questions and give you support and kind of daily um, ideas for things to try. Okay. Is that something that at all, sounds at all interesting to you guys? It would be something that... Well, it would be something that I would look at in terms of out of interest it wouldn't be something that I would ever rush into if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let me let me get, give you guys a card. It yeah. sounds like I mean, I know for me, knowing that I could thrive and not support this animal cruelty was the first step. So Forks Over Knives is a really good documentary. If you go here into the... Okay. Um, you might have a friend you want to give them to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the Must Sees has a lot of documentaries. Basically everything you need. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can look into it more. And I know for my wife and I, we really bonded doing this together um, and not knowing we weren't supporting all this, so it's been really nice chatting with you guys. Yeah, you. Yeah. Take care. Bye. So that was the interview. In my opinion, they were in the contemplation phase, meaning they've considered some of the issues around animal agriculture, but don't necessarily um, see a reason to act. So I focused on reiterating the ethical considerations um, and also starting to kind of um, help them get ready for that next stage and, and, and what they can kind of do to, to respond to the issues. If you think the chat was effective, let me know in the comments below. Um, if there's some strategies you uh, think that were particularly effective, um, let me know that too and maybe some things that I could work on. So really appreciate any feedback you have. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.